I'm not the type of person to come on social media and you know just put my business out there and um you know just talk 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 and counteract everything that people say and re reply to people comments and all that stuff but this thing been lingering in the media for too long too long you know my silence not helping you know as figure i would just stay quiet just stay out of this and it would go away but at the end of the day even if it, even if it go away people will still have it in the back of their head and say yo asafa is this person and asafa don't take care of his kids and all that stuff <coughs> and who was supposed to come for come forward and clear up this they're not going to do it because this is the type of of things they like you know they they thrive off social media um negativity and all of this all of these things so they're not going to come forward and clear this situation clear my name because they because i saw for going like him too perfect and i saw for going like him this and that so this is you understand so <coughs> The media have it to say that, firstly, the media have it to say that my daughter mother is my ex. Please stop saying that she's my ex. She's not She's not my ex. She's the mother of my child. She's not my ex. We weren't a couple. We weren't together. We weren't boyfriend and girlfriend. So please stop labeling the situation as ex. You understand? I've done, I've done things in, in the past. You know, I was never innocent. You know, I was never an innocent person. I, you know, I was. I've done things in the past, and I've. I got two beautiful children. Two beautiful children from you know my my past, and I love them, love them to death. I take care of them fully. They are not suffering. Not them not suffer. My daughter was born in 2012, and you. So why would it take eight years if I wasn't taking care of my, my, my daughter? If I was not there for my daughter, if I was not taking care of my daughter, why would it take eight years for anybody to say anything about it? When I heard, and I'm going to say heard because I heard over the radio that my daughter, that she was pregnant with my child over the radio. This was like four or five months down the line. And I'm not joking about this. I heard over the radio and I had to make a call and find out that she was pregnant with my child. When I found out right then and there, I just I just went in in support mode. So I, I first thing I did, I told her to find an apartment. Right? And she found an apartment. I was going to Europe. I pay. I, I, I give her money to pay for her apartment, pay for everything, doctor fee. I have my friend ask my friend to drive her around with my car, drive her anywhere she want to go, doctor, anywhere she want to go. Because I was excited. This was my first, my first child. I was excited, super excited. <coughs> right. Um. When my daughter was born, right. I bought, a, bought, I bought her a car to drive, drive my daughter around. That car mash up, I got another car. I asked my friend, firstly, I asked my friend to teach her to drive. Right? I asked him to teach her to drive, so then we drive, go wherever, and learn to drive. Bought her a car, pay all bills every month. Every month, I pay rent, pay light, water, I pay car insurance, buy gas, put in a car, right? Everything. She want to go back to college, I pay for her to go back to college, right? I pay all bills. Whatever she need, I give it to her. My daughter, and during this time, my daughter was always at my house. Always at my house. She would drop off my daughter here, she would go to school, do whatever she's doing. And then pick up, pick up, and you know, my so my daughter was always here. My daughter ready to go to school. 
I pay my daughter school fee. I buy my daughter school clothes them. All my daughter had clothes them and me buy. Me buy all, all them clothes. Me shop for my daughter. Right? She won't go to school, me buy her school clothes, me buy her school bag, me buy everything, me pay for her to go to school. <coughs> so this been going going on for years and during this time there there, there was just a lot of verbal abuse like random messages to my phone you know calling me all sort of names i ignore it you understand for years now court was supposed to come in play for years now but my, my mom keep telling me don't go to court it doesn't look good don't go to court so i said all right fine i'll leave this court thing <coughs> i continue to support my daughter and my daughter mother for years continue during all this time like i said we were never together she was not uh, not my girlfriend i was just doing this out of love for my daughter and the appreciation i had for her for for having my daughter 2017 now everything changed <coughs> the verbal abuse just got a bit too much you did then turn in a too much threat Threaten not to, for me not to see my daughter again. That I act like a father, and I'm not a father. Threaten to change my daughter's last name. And telling me that I've never done anything for my child. Never ever done nothing for my child. So I'm like, what? I've never done anything for my child? That don't make sense. No, this makes sense. Where is this coming from? Anyway, guys. So I cut back. I cut back when that when she made that statement that I was never taking care of my child. I was never there for not doing anything for my child. I cut back. Cut back on everything. I'm not going to go into details. I was cut back on everything. <clears throat> so we came to an agreement. You know, she came up with the figure, with the amount of money that she wanted per month. She said she want $25,000 a month. So I gave her $25,000 a month. Half a school fee. Boom. Fine. So this been going on for, for, for a while. And my daughter was practically living at my house. During, during, during all this time. My daughter was living at, pretty, pretty much living at my house. My daughter was at my parents' house. Pretty much all the time. Right, and I uh, and during this time I still buying clothes. My wife always buy clothes for, for my daughter. My daughter was never in need of no clothes. She was never she never had the need to buy no clothes for my daughter. My daughter always have clothes. My always have buy clothes, buy way too much clothes, buy clothes way big so she can grow in them. Everything. So my daughter was never in need of nothing. <coughs> and I didn't come on here to 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 look like no fool. But if I have to look like a fool to bring to put my point across then i will do it you understand this has been going on for years it reached to a point where i can i cannot communicate with her i could not communicate with her so she started communicating through my wife so she would text my wife hey i'm going to drop off my daughter now fine whatever she needs she would text my wife because i could not have a conversation with her because it was too much disrespect that i couldn't deal with it would be between my wife and my mom she would text my mom or that she's gonna drop off my daughter or text, or text my wife if she don't get my wife she texts my mom so that's where the communication was i was never communicating with her and like i said my daughter practically lived at my house monday to to friday Monday to Friday, I have my daughter. I take her to school. I pick her up from school, and then Friday, her mom would pick her up from school, and then drop her off back Sunday. So, oh, all of this court thing came about. I'm gonna try and cut this right now. Just cut it, cut it right here, because I can't bother with talking about this, this thing. And it kind of hurt me because even if my friends questioning the situation and they they have been around and they know the situation and know everything we're we're already start now last year in the covid time covid time i gave her a child support 
the day I gave her the child support, she took my daughter to my parents. Right? My daughter was at my parents for two weeks, two or three weeks. Then she went for my daughter, take her back after two or three days. Took her back to my parents after two or three days. Right? So, after she took her back to my parents, my daughter was there for practically two months. When she went back for my daughter, the next morning she took my daughter to my house because online schooling um, started. So my daughter was at my house doing school Monday to Friday, every week, Monday to Friday. Then she asked me for child support. So I said, why do you need child support? My daughter was at my parents all the time. My daughter was at my house and my parents' house. Why do you need child support? You understand? My, my, the, 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 my daughter was at my parents with, at the house that I provided for my parents and money that I provided for my parents. You understand? My parents was taking care of my daughter. Why do you need the child support? And that's when everything starts. I'm going to take it to court. I'm going to this and that and where. Right? So, when people say, I don't take care of my daughter, and I see all of this thing going on in media, it kind of cut me deep. And I'm, I'm just a, always a quiet person. I just, I saw if I'm not going to talk. So, I may not say anything about him or I do whatever. I'm not going to say nothing. I'm not going to talk. I'm not going to do anything. But, if you guys believe I'm not I'm a deadbeat dad, then continue to believe that. Whoever, all, my, all the loyal people who know facts and know the truth, you know, that's off to you. But I just wanted to put shed some light on this situation because it, because that's been going on for too long, and. I just can't bother with it. And people say the same thing about my son as well. You understand? My son lives with my parents. You understand? I take care of that entire household. You understand? I bought that house. I pay for I do everything. So when people my and, and my son has been living with my parents from him was one year old. Was one. From him a one. From before him can talk, from before him can walk, he has been living with my parents. And my parents was the one who offered to take care of him because I was, my son was going to live with me. And my mom said, no, you cannot manage him because you're going to be training. You're going to be traveling all over the place. So let us take care of him for you. Just let us take care of him for you. So that's how my son lives with my parents. So, people people hate you for, for many reasons. Um, people just dislike you for many reasons. It is a strong word. So let me say dislike. People dislike you for many reasons. Maybe it's the way you talk. Maybe it's your success. Maybe um, your, how you look. Maybe nose too big. You know, for many reasons. People, people just dislike you for many reasons. You understand? Um, for me... I don't know what it is, you know, but people, <clears throat> people dislike it because you're going too perfect, you know. Um, I never tell anybody that I was perfect, you know, some people just assume that I'm perfect, you understand? And I don't want to be, I don't want to be perfect, you know. Um, let me just stop it right here and, you know, hope this open up a lot of people's eyes.